Yo, 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 YouTube. How we all doing? Hope you guys are doing good today. I actually don't know what I'm going to have planned. I'm just going to record it and see what it comes through. I kind of have a kind of an idea of what we want to do today. So recently, one of my good friends of mine gen generously donated his electric guitar to me for the semester, for the last semester of college. And so I actually have it on me today. And so I was thinking in this video, I can show you guys a little tutorial on how to make you know, any guitar sect of found you want to record without even needing an amp. Who needs all those pedals? You don't need all those pedals. All you need is a software program for recording guitar. So let me pull up my preset here I made for it. Now, I can kind of run through everything that I've got. So let's show this here. Let me close out all of this stuff. It may look a little complicated at first, but I can simplify it. In fact, I might even just restart it, but... Mm, yeah, I'm going to restart it, actually, just to make it a little bit more simpler for everybody. Let's do new. No. Let's go new here. And just for someone who's like a beginner, right? If you want to make your, your thing a guitar. First step. First step before anything. Buy an, elect buy an electric guitar. Second step. Second step is get a cord that'll plug into your audio interface that you have for like a microphone or for another guitar. So you plug that in, this, this little plug here. And you plug that into your amp. Now, when you go to FL Studio, what you want to do is go to an insert where you want to record. You hit here and you want to pick the line that in. So my microphone's an LN1. But I'm going to record LN2 because that's where the guitar is at. So now look. You can see it coming in. So now you have guitar input, right? So now you can really mess around with this. So if you want it to be directly played back in your ears, you have it route to this track, right? But let's say you don't want that and you want to have to add some effects to it first. So now you'd route it to this one. So it goes through the effects and the effects go back into the master. So now this is where we're putting all our effects. So let's say we want, we probably want some reverb on there, make it sound all juicy, but we want kind of want to turn it down. This is, it can get way more complicated. This is very basic, right? So already you can hear it, right? So you can hear that, right? It's pretty loud. So, but now let's say, oh, I want to do more than that. A lot of people will put like an EQ and get rid of some of the lows and stuff. You can. I think it's something like, I forget the exact EQ for a guitar, but it's, it's like you drop the lows a little bit. You can probably look that up if you're a little bit more detail oriented. But the next, the next thing that you add right now is you go to, is it this hardcore? This is what you want. And you can cycle through these and you can put in anything you want from all the pedals and you can change them all and all that sort of stuff. So let's say I, do, I don't need the reverb because I already have that. So let's turn it off. And I can add a compressor. I want the distortion on this. And I'll turn down the output just a little bit. You can already hear it, right? So now I'm an ACDC. It's not like ideal. It needs a little bit of work. But um, you can kind of sc scroll through all of these. This one's good. So let's say you turn off the reverb, turn off the equalizer, turn off the compression, turn down the reverb a little bit, and now we got a guitar. mess around with this now if you really want to step it up you turn off all this and you turn off all this and you create separate buses now I'd probably have to make another video on it but you would basically have like your guitar instrument and then you'd have all the effects going into that so you can kind of turn them on and off and factor them in and that's what was going in on in with that other other interface I was showing you guys but this is kind of the general idea so now let's say I don't want to make it 
reverb and I just kind of like it make a cool kind of sounding jazz guitar right and I make sure you got to reroute it back in so I didn't route this back to the mass that's why you couldn't hear it and also to lower one more thing to lower audio make sure this is on the lowest input because that'll stop the delays from happening so let's say I want to make a jazz song so lately and okay I should show you guys how to record real quick too one two three four five six seven so I'm trying to make this song. I'll try and record it if I can. Right click and drag. That'll give you a lot of recording space for your guitar. Otherwise, it'll stop after four bars and you get an endless loop. So now we go here, hit record. Make sure you're on this one. And this will actually play. So what I'm going to do is, yeah, I guess we can play with it on, but we can go like this. kind of really mess around with it anyway that's to show you guys what you can kind of do with this if you have an electric guitar get you help go recording i was kind of just messing around with this yesterday i started figuring this all out but i know this is kind of a silly video and it's all over the place but i needed to get something out there i hope you guys enjoyed keep making music it's fun even if no one listens to it do it for yourself too because i think it allows people to express themselves sometimes when it's when it's when it's not as easy to just talk to someone about it right it's a good way to express yourself. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good one. Stay positive. Stay tuned. Catch you guys in the next one. Your boy's out. Scoot, scoot.